Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Dell Latitude 5400 series laptop. I'm gonna take you on a limited teardown disassembly tour. Hopefully you'll be able to see the component you're trying to access as we get into the computer. So first things guys, power down the computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're gonna flip it over to access your bottom screws. So there's a screw in each corner. You got two more screws here, one screw in the middle here, and one right there in the middle. These screws guys are not gonna come out, most of them. They have washers inside. So they'll unscrew, but they'll stay in the case for the most part. After I've unscrewed all those, I'll take my small flat pry tool. I'll go around the seam to pop up this bottom case. And that's what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. As a side note guys, when I open up any computer, I have this sitting on an anti-static pad. Either that or an anti-static bracelet, that'll go a long way to avoid damaging anything when you're poking around in your computer. If you guys need help with any tools or supplies that I'm using, there'll be a link above, also below in the description to my Amazon store, that'll show you some things that I use in my shop. So the first thing I do when opening any computer is either remove or unplug your battery. That again limits any power running through your computer and makes it safer to work on. So to remove the battery, you have a screw here and a screw there and your battery plug is right there. And if your computer hasn't been messed with already, there'll be a black pull tab on top of your battery port. You just pull that straight up and that unplugs from the motherboard. And that's how you'd remove your battery. I'll have the battery specs for this computer below in the description if you're looking for a, a replacement. This is your solid state drive here. It's held in by a single screw in the M2 port. So you would unscrew that single screw and the solid state drive would release and you just pull it down from the port. I'll have that information below in the description. These are your two RAM ports. Right now there's only one RAM stick. I think that's how this computer comes stock. To get the RAM out, it's two spring-loaded arms, metal arms on either side. You would pull those apart from each other. The RAM would release, and then you just pull it out of the port like that. And I'll have the RAM information for this computer below in, in the description. This is your Wi-Fi card here. It's held in by a single screw there, which holds on a metal bracket that protects the antenna wire from snapping on to the Wi-Fi card. You would remove that screw, remove this metal bracket, you would uh, snap up the antenna wire from the Wi-Fi card, and then it would pull up out of its port, much like the solid state drive. This is your CMOS battery. This is the uh, motherboard battery, the battery that keeps power to your BIOS system. It's held on by double-sided tape, and then it plugs into the motherboard right there. Don't pull on the wires, guys, to undo plugs like that. You could damage them. Uh, what you want to do is put your fingernail or a uh, small plastic pry tool on either side, on either one of those grips on the, on the white plug, and get it out little by little from either side until you wiggle that out of the port. That's how you would get that out. This is your LCD cable here coming down through your hinge assembly. And there's two screws holding down another metal bracket that's holding that down. Once you remove those screws, the LCD cable also has a black pull tab, just like your battery. You would pull that straight up and that would unhook your LCD cable. This is your power jack right there. It's held on by another metal bracket. They like guarding things with metal brackets in here. You'd undo those screws. This metal would release and you would unplug your power jack from, from this port and again, you wouldn't grab the wires and pull, but you'd go back and forth with a pair of pliers or a pry tool, or you can even take your pry tool and put it directly in that little cradle right there and push that out. That's how you would access your power jack. This is your fan right here and your heat sink assembly that comes from the CPU to your vent to take the heat away. This is two screws right there on your fan and then it unplugs there. Same thing, don't pull on the wires, but there's two grips on either side and you can unplug it. Once you do that, this fan will release, and if you're looking to get at your heatsink assembly, there's four screws above this, 
that unhook your heatsink assembly and then a single screw there. And then you have to take your heatsink assembly out from underneath this plastic component. So lift it up a little bit, take your heatsink assembly out, and that's how you would get your heatsink out. If you guys are here to access your CPU and your heatsink in order to reapply thermal paste, there'll be a video link above, also below in the description. It's a quick tutorial video on how you can apply thermal paste correctly, and it was actually done on this computer. So that's there if you want it. This is your touchpad assembly here. You'll have to take out quite a lot of screws to get at this. Um, also, your motherboard has quite a lot of screws. You can tell your motherboard screws by the white triangles or arrows next to each screw. But in order to get at that, all this black, this whole black plastic piece has to come off. There's screws all over the place, M2, X3 screws, and they're everywhere. So you've got to take up all these screws, go nice and slow, make sure you get all of them, and then this middle case can come up and you can gain access to the motherboard, touchpad, and the rest of those components. So that's the video. I hope it was helpful. Any questions, guys, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you need to leave me a question or comment, please feel free. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.